Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves and welcome to the stat room. All right, guys, I'm on to today. I went to bed like right before the main game. I mean, the late game started. I thought I was going to wake up to some goodness and I woke up like, womp, womp, womp. Yeah, it was a rough night last night, guys. And my streak of 300 consecutive um, games came to an end. I think I hit six straight days with a score of at least a 300. But it happens, guys, you know. So go back over to um, Four Horsemen. Rondo had 24 points. They got beat by New York. If you'd have told me New York would have won with up Porzingis, I'd have laughed at you. Lawana Cabaret gave us 33. He had more points than Rondo. Jimmy Butler gave us 38. That's not bad. You know, he's still two points away from 40, so that's not bad. And Lopez was was at 27 with three minutes to with three minutes in the um third quarter. And they were up by 33 points. So they took him out. And if he would have played the whole game, if it wasn't a blowout, he gets us 40. I like the lineup I had yesterday, guys. It was solid. But remember what I told y'all guys about fantasy. It's a make or miss league. Brooklyn made every shot. They shot over 60% yesterday. When that happens, you know, they could have beat Golden State yesterday with the way they were shooting the ball. Then you had OKC. They blew out Milwaukee. You had um, Golden State blew out Minnesota. Um, Cleveland blew out Orlando. It was just blowout city. So, I'm leaving that in the past. Like Bill Belichick was like, he don't even like to watch the tape when it's bad games. He just focused on the next game. So I'm on to today, guys. All right, so today with the four horsemen, I'm going with Isaiah Thomas at home against Kyrie Irving. Cleveland is coming off of, um, they're on the second night of a back-to-back. -back, so I just think Isaiah Thomas is going to put up about 40 points. Then I'm going to go James Harden against Denver. I think he has something to prove tonight. He's not injured anymore. His hand is now back 100% and the flu is behind him. Next, we're going to go with Trevor Ariza at the small forward position. I like this Denver game. This is a game I'm going to target. I think Trevor Ariza goes off in his game. He plays phenomenal at home. I think he gets 30 plus points for us. Now, at the center position, I'm going to go to the San Antonio Laker game. I'm going to take Dewan Detman. Because the Lakers, they don't rebound at all. Detman is going to probably end up with about 15 rebounds, maybe 8 points, about 2 blocks. He'll get you about 25 to 30 points. And at 36, at 3,600, he's going to get you about 8 times value. All right, guys. So that's the um, four horsemen. All right, guys. So just to talk to, to you a little bit about FanDuel. When you're playing FanDuel, guys, remember last night in the main contest, I said, do not bet big. I said, play one contest. Because when it's an 11 game slate, guys, you know, you're picking nine players out of 220. Me personally, I like odds. I didn't like those odds. Now, today, I like my odds today. Them six-game slates, seven-game slates, I murdered these slates. I know I'm going to do well today. Um, but I'm going to wait until around 5.30 to send my lineups out today because it's going to be a lot of guys being rested today. I think LeBron James might be one. I know Draymond Green and Iguodala are not going to play today. So that means that Phoenix will actually have a chance to actually keep it close so don't stay away from phoenix players because without draymond and without iguodala that's the that's the two best defenders on that team now matt barnes and and clay thompson to be the defenders but everybody else in there is just average defenders stephen curry is not a great defender all right so like i said man you you play fan duel long enough you're going to have nights like this you know, like I remember when I first started playing FanDuel, I had two weeks in a row, guys. I lost every day. That's what made me want to start developing my system. I'm like, man, I can't suck this bad. Then I started noticing my patterns. But last night, you had a bunch of guys that was out because I had a solid lineup going. And, you know, I put Love in place of um, Porzingis. That was a pretty good deal. We put up 49 points in 28 minutes. LaWawa had 33. So those two picks were solid. But then everybody else didn't do well because it was a blowout. Every game was a blowout. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, take the good with the bad. If you can't handle nights like this, then fantasy is not for you. Me, I could take it. I'm built for it. But anyway, guys, um, that's enough for today. I'm going to leave it there. If you like what I did, hit the like button. You can subscribe to me. Follow me on Twitter. Vaughn Harris, the stat man, and guys, we're going to bounce back today because it was rough. I woke up, and I woke up like, man, you know, it was like you wake up with that bad taste in your mouth, but like the New England Patriots, I'm on to today. Love you guys.